Can you tell everyone that you're feeling better? Love these nightstands. Welcome back to another vlog. My name is Caitlin if you're new and I don't know if this is just going to be a day in the life, a week in the life, a few days vlog, not quite sure yet, but I'm just getting ready for the day. It's Tuesday. Um, what's the date? March 5th. I didn't vlog this past weekend because my mom was in town, so we just spent time together, time with my mom, explored a little bit. It was really, really fun. I do have a few clips of the weekend that I'll put right here. Oof, this is a bumpy. an event. explored book at the Brooklyn Bridge. We went to a really cool museum called Photographiska. Photographiska? Photographiska? Something like that. And it had three different exhibits. It's like a photography museum. And it was amazing. Super, super fun. Definitely recommend going if you are coming to New York City. We bought our tickets on Groupon. So if you do want to go, definitely look on Groupon. The tickets were like half price on Groupon. So I'm just getting ready for the day. Had a really hectic work day yesterday. Kind of have a hectic work day today as well. My hair is so greasy, but it's been pouring rain the past few days. And so I haven't wanted to like use heat on my hair and do my hair, but it's also just greasy and I hate wearing it up all the time. So I might just clip it back because I don't want to put it in like a ponytail. And then I'm going to pick out an outfit and get on with the work for the day. But I just wanted to start off the vlog and say hello. And I missed vlogging, but just wanted some quality time with my mom and not worry about vlogging. Cause as much as vlogging is really fun, it's also like you have to think about what you want to say and how you want to tell us the story and how you want to take the viewers on your day, your week, whatever the case is. So as much as I love vlogging, it is kind of hard when you're just wanting to spend time with people. This is not working. And not kind of worry about 
about all that but we're back this week and i'm looking forward to continuing these vlogs because i feel like i've been on a vlogging streak and i'm really enjoying it but i wish i had dry shampoo but dry shampoo always irritates my scalp so i don't tend to use it but i feel like this looks so terrible is that not from the front it's just the mirror i don't know anyway skin update i feel like i always just like give a skin update i have been breaking out around here and then i have like a big breakout here one here and one here I had eaten dairy and eggs and that is always a trigger for my skin that I've learned like if I have dairy or eggs it causes me to break out so that's not fun but that's all right we will get through it and won't be eating dairy or eggs anymore it's it's takes a long time to kind of figure out what your triggers are with acne and it can be really frustrating but i knew that a that eggs and dairy were a trigger but it was my birthday and i wanted to have dairy and eggs so it's fine i think it was worth it and yeah it doesn't happen all the time but it happens sometimes so it is what it is it is a nasty rainy foggy day outside i want to find a comfy outfit to reflect that so let's see what we have in the closet it's also like a day full of meetings i do want to get a workout in later today but that doesn't really matter what's the temperature oh my gosh look at this rain 50 49 is the high 42 is the low at least it's supposed to be sunny on friday let's see i like wearing this buttoned up at the top and then hanging open with a pair of pants and a white shirt underneath. So I'll do a white shirt underneath and then I'll do these green trousers and that'll be the outfit. The sweater's a little wrinkly, but here's the outfit on. Just comfy and oversized for a rainy day full of meetings. Good morning. Well, welcome back to another vlog. I don't know if it's morning where you are, but I am getting ready for the day. Took Bentley out. Mitch left for work. Now I'm going to wash my face. I have a early meeting morning, an early morning meeting at 8:30 today. And I on Sunday woke up sick. I think I started a vlog a couple days ago and then I literally woke up the next day and was sick. So I'm not going to put that clip in but I'll kind of give you a little bit of an update on where we've been because it's been a while since I vlogged. But my mom came and then I was going to start vlogging after that and as soon as my mom left, Bentley got sick and she was sick for like a week and a half. She had diarrhea and then it went away and then it came back and then it wouldn't go away so we took her to the vet just to make sure she didn't have like a parasite or anything that she picked something up off the ground and she didn't but then she started throwing up so we were a little worried it was pancreatitis and this was going on where like she'd feel better or she'd get sick and then a day or two would go by and then she would be fine and then she would get sick again and then a day or two and then you know the whole thing so um yeah it was like hard to vlog because we were like taking her out a million times a day we weren't doing anything we weren't leaving the apartment that is why i haven't been vlogging because she was sick and ended up getting better don't know what happened we think maybe it was like a mini pancreatitis attack because back in september if you have been watching my vlogs since then i had briefly mentioned that something was going on with the dog but we didn't know exactly what it was and she had pancreatitis so she spent the night in the emergency vet she's really really sick which is why we thought maybe it wasn't pancreatitis this time because she was acting normal she wanted to eat she had tons of energy she was just getting really sick to her stomach like multiple times in the hour so yeah we don't know what it what it was but we ended up this is what we did we ended up fasting her for 24 hours then we eased bone broth into her diet we and we did that for a day so two meals and then two meals we did chicken and rice or i'm sorry chicken and sweet potato because my dog doesn't like rice so we do sweet potato 
and then kept doing chicken and sweet potato but laying off of the chicken and sweet potato and then adding in some of her food and then now we're slowly easing she's fully on her food but we're slowly easing back into the amount of food we're giving her so every day we're giving her an extra we started with a cup and then every day we're giving her an extra fourth of a cup until we get to a cup and three fourths which is what she gets twice a day so just wanted to explain all of that in case you are going through something like this with your dog or you do go through something like this with your dog in the future you have it as like oh yeah i remember when kate went through that but yeah so <laughs> figured i'd share but she's she's good now she's doing good she said solid poops for a couple days which is like so funny that that's such a relief it's like when she's going to the bathroom where mitch and i are like she could have diarrhea but yeah so we were waking up in the middle of the night just like fully exhausted and then mitch was actually sick last week and i woke up on sunday with the worst sore throat and to yesterday my throat hurt today my throat hurts it doesn't look like i have strep but uh, i don't know what it is i'm congested having trouble breathing sore throat so that's so fun but i'm gonna get ready for the day it is 7 30 so my meeting's in an hour so i want to eat something and get some coffee but i just wanted to come on and start the vlog we did end up putting a bunch of furniture together we still have the dresser that we have yet to tackle because we're honestly putting that off because it's going to suck but have a lot of updates got nightstands got bar stools and then we got a dresser so we have a few more things we need to order but the apartment is coming together quickly which is exciting and then we can start kind of like decorating it and getting like rugs and art that kind of thing so i've been watching julian hunter's vlogs um in florida and i am reaming of jealousy that they are in Florida living for a month. I would love to be at the beach. I'm like craving the beach so bad. My grandma lives in Tampa and I think Mitch and I are gonna try and plan a trip to go visit her. Cause we both are like, we could use one, a vacation and two, the beach. So yeah, I'm going to do my skincare. So we've been here over a week. Don't you? We were playing with different stones and he's like, Can you tell everyone that you're feeling better? See, I'm feeling better, everyone. <laughs> Why do you want my lucky charms? <laughs> you want them? Why do you? I love you. Kissy butt. I am having a bowl of lucky charms because when I wasn't feeling well on Sunday, we went and got like some lucky charms and some bread and just had like cereal and toast which is like whenever I don't feel good that's what I want to eat so I'm really not hungry really don't want anything to eat and so I'm just going to have some lucky charms and make myself some coffee I have been doing iced coffee and loving iced coffee which this is gonna get loud for a second is very different for me I normally don't gravitate towards iced coffee, but I've been wanting it and I don't know if it's because the weather is getting nicer, but yeah, it's been amazing. So yummy, but I use the Breville espresso machine every single day. My dad got this for us for a wedding gift like five years ago, whenever we got, we got married in 2019, so we've had it since then, and I use this thing every single day. It is amazing. So easy to use. I was a barista in college. I worked at Starbucks, so I know a lot about like pulling shots, espresso, steaming milk, all that kind of stuff, and was obsessed. I've been obsessed with coffee ever since I worked there because I've learned so much about coffee. And so my dad got this for us as a wedding gift, and I only used to use it for like special occasions. And then once we moved here, we didn't have an, we don't have room for another coffee machine. So and I was obviously not getting rid of this. So I use it every single day, and I actually am obsessed with it. So I'm gonna make the coffee. What are you doing? What are you doing? Delicious. Delicious.
Okay, it's a bit later. I'm taking my lunch break and I just ate lunch. <laughs> I just had some leftovers from dinner last night. We had like a Mexican bowl and I just ate leftovers for lunch today, which is typically what I do for lunch. I like to make enough food so that the next day I have leftovers because I'm not like the biggest lunch eater. But I'm getting, I feel like I'm getting worse as the day goes on. I can't stop coughing and I'm just not feeling great. I also look like a complete slob kebab. I just took Bentley out to go pee and I just feel like, and I don't know if it's because I always like wear this sweater when I'm sleeping, but I just feel like a little slob kebab. So that's all right. Didn't come on here to complain. I just wanted to share that I'm not feeling the best. So if I sound a little horse or whatever that's what's going on but i wanted to share some of the home updates when the lighting is nice first things first all of these clothes that are on the floor and in the closet are going to be organized once we put the dresser together and then mitch found some bins that are going to go in the closet so we'll get two of them one to go on this side and one to go on the other side and then that way all of this will be organized and i think once that happens we're going to feel like new people we just don't this is our only closet for clothes we just don't have a lot of space in here which is totally fine it's our first apartment in new york city and it's a, it's a small one, which is totally fine. But just wanted to call that out and I'm in the middle of doing a laundry and these socks are mismatched or they're still in the dryer. So yeah, those will have to take a back seat for a second. But the first thing I wanted to share are the nightstands. Actually love these nightstands. One, super easy to put together. Two, they're actually really good quality for the price they were $80. I'll link them from Amazon and they are small, but they have a lot of storage. So they have drawers that roll out like this and then another one. So when we get the storage container for in here, we're going to put socks and underwear in there. And then that way they're not in our nightstands and we can put some of our other things in our nightstands that's currently just sitting on the floor. But for now, we're just keeping our socks and underwear in there. And then it has this little cubby opening down here that I put some of Mitch's books. I put his like aesthetic looking books right there. And then if you can see like in the back, I put his other books. And then this little guy that we ha got from Target when we lived in our old house. Uh, and then lamps are from Studio McGee Collection from Target from like three or four years ago. Love them. They have a dimmer and I just love the look of them. And then here's the nightstand on my end. I just have my Kindle, my hair clip, and then my jewelry dish, which this is a vintage cigarette tray that I thrifted or found at a vintage store. And I wanted to share something really, really sad. I looked down the other day. I lost a diamond in my wedding band. And that sucks so bad. I have no idea where it could possibly be or what could have possibly happened but i noticed it a couple nights ago and i'm devastated <laughs> to say the least so that's a huge bummer but again i have my socks and underwear in here and then i styled mine a little bit differently again once i take my socks and underwear out of here i'll be able to put things like this which i have tendonitis and need to sleep in a brace at night i'll be able to hide that away in the drawers but i just have some of my favorite books down here that just give me some inspiration this one right here that doesn't have a label is actually a wedding book with our wedding photos in it and then these knots that are from I think the Studio McGee collection from Target from a few years ago. So, so cute. I really, really love the way that the bedroom is turning out. I think I mentioned this before. Maybe not, but we are in desperate need of like a redo for our bedding. A new duvet sheet, a new insert, a new sheet, just upgrade of everything. So once we get furniture and all that kind of stuff, then I'll start actually decorating. But... I want to like get furniture and everything like that first and then we want to get like a nice piece of art to put above because we actually have pretty high ceilings in here which is nice and so we want to lift that up with some art above okay then next are the bar stools as you can see we just have 
all this crap which again will just get taken care of once we have the dresser built have I'm getting a table to put back here I'll explain everything and kind of like the vision but all of this stuff will eventually have a place to go but for now it's just sitting on the floor but these bar stools are what we got last night and put together one they were extremely easy to put together and two I've had bar stools like this I think we had them in like our Nashville home and we also had dining chairs this style again super affordable I'll link them got them on Wayfair they're extremely comfortable we just went with the black we liked the high seats and I think they look really nice in here excuse this mess I need to clean all this up but I'm also in the middle of working and I'm working from our apartment today since I'm not feeling great but perfect easy and then oh my gosh does this have a huge dent oh my gosh it does <gasps> no oh no I wonder if I can get that out we literally got this yesterday oh no what the heck Oh my gosh, that is a huge bummer. It took us forever to get this stupid trash can and it's freaking dented and I never even noticed that. Mama, why is it dented? Tell me, do you know why? <laughs> it's okay, it's not the big of a deal. But got this trash can yesterday that came dented, so that's wonderful. And then we have this thing, which is the biggest piece of junk actually we've ever purchased put together touched it's i do don't recommend it all at all i'll link it so that you know not to buy this one don't buy it it's such a hunk of junk but it works what we need it for and then when we move out of here we'll get rid of it but we needed some shoe storage and then we wanted one with the drawer so that we could just put like random stuff in it but excuse bentley's like medication that i need to put away but i just kind of styled it super clean and minimal and then and here like Mitch's shoes literally like don't even fit so it doesn't close but it does give us some extra shoe storage which is nice to have since we don't have much storage for shoes but it's just a piece of crap it's not good quality it was really hard to put together and yeah so that's that here is the fan room again it's kind of a little bit of a mess because we really don't have much space to put things but I'm going to get a long skinny table to put back here where we'll put that photo we'll put a lamp I'll put some other decor so some of our decor that's like sitting on the floor over there will get put on here and then I can hide things under it like right now I'm hiding our toilet paper back there um, that we order from Costco but we'll get all of that organized like when we have more furniture and then in that box is a black dresser that we're going to put here. We'll put a lot of our clothes in the dresser. We'll style it to make it look cute. And then I found a coffee table situation that I want to get that we put Bentley's bed right there because she was sick and we wanted her like literally laying right next to us. So we scooched her bed as close to the couch as we possibly could but I found some coffee tables that have storage inside so some of our games and other books and all that kind of stuff will go in there and then we'll want to get a rug in here I'm sorry this is <laughs> literally a mess I should have cleaned this up before I started this clip but whatever and then we have Mitch's guitar and like our sound bar and like some of this random crap again will get fixed and put away once we have the rest of our furniture but I'm trying to think of like what I should put in this corner right here because the dresser will go from like here to here to like kind of sit right in the middle of the TV and so I'm definitely gonna have room for like something else to sit here maybe something to sit here still kind of working through that and what we should do yeah that's uh, basically the updates the apartment again really messy right now but we're slowly getting there and we'll get there it's just taking a little bit being in such a small space you really have nowhere to hide any of this stuff it's just it's just going to sit out so once we have the dresser once i have the coffee table and we'll be able to put some stuff in there and stuff in the dresser we'll be getting this really cleaned up but we've made a lot of, a lot of progress with the furniture so really excited about that 
and just wanted to provide a little update on the apartment with links and stuff because I don't know if you guys watching this are in an apartment, getting an apartment, where you're kind of at in life, but I think I've said this before, but I'm not a proponent of investing in furniture when you're in a space that you're not gonna be in forever. So we invested in some furniture in our house that we were living in in Ohio because we thought we were going to be living in that house forever. Turns out we were only there for a year, but we are storing a lot of that furniture. So we have some that we thrifted, we have some that we purchased that we really don't wanna get rid of. So it is in storage. And then the other stuff that we didn't invest in, we just sold. That's the little update. I am going to, what time is it? 15 minutes before my next call. I'm gonna get prepared and ready to get back to work and then I'm on calls until like 4 p.m. For the next like four hours, I will be on calls. And then I'm gonna cook some dinner and I have the night to myself and I wanted to prep a some clothes for an upcoming video that I wanna shoot because I have clothes from a thrifting my Pinterest board but I haven't filmed that at all and I haven't posted one in so long and I'm dying to get one up because they're my favorite videos to shoot so we're gonna get that prepped so that we can do a haul or do a there's gonna be a picture sport video so yeah all right I wrapped up work and so I am just gonna sit on the couch I'm watching some YouTube and I'm trying to decide if I want to go walk on the treadmill I need to take the dog O-U-T to go P-O-T-T-Y don't want to say it out loud because she'll get really excited but I need to take her and then I'm trying to decide if I want to go walk on the treadmill for a little bit because I feel like I need some movement I've literally gotten 2,800 steps today which is so so bad but I'm also not feeling good but I'm not feeling horrible so I'm kind of in that in between where I'm like should I move my body and will it be better for me or will moving my body make this worse so I'm watching a like 20 minute YouTube video so I'm gonna chill on the couch and watch this I'm watching Jenna Hung I've never watched her before and I saw this girl that I follow on TikTok do I follow her on TikTok no I know I, I, know I watch her YouTube videos her name's Jen I don't know her last name though but I think I saw her pop up on my for you page she posted a video on TikTok that I saw and it was like shouting out all of these different creators so I went through and followed a bunch of them and I'm going to watch Jen Lauren I'm gonna watch a bunch of them and one of the ones that she shouted out was Jenna so I'm watching her YouTube right now just her latest video so I love finding new creators on YouTube and watching a ton of different types of creators that do different types of videos. So if you have any suggestions on your favorite creators, leave a comment and let me know so I can give them a listen. And I always try and shout out all of the people that I watch in my videos as well because I feel like I like finding new people to follow and watch. So I don't know if you're watching this, you probably like watching YouTube as well. So. Some of my favorite people that I watch on YouTube, I'm gonna go through my list. It is always evolving and changing, just depending on my bandwidth of how much I can watch YouTube. But I love watching Paige Lorenz, Kenzie Elizabeth, Morgan Riddle, Cass D'Amico, Brittany Xavier, Jen Lauren, Brooke Michio, Gretchen Gearty, I think I'm saying that wrong. I'm so bad at pronouncing names. Rachel Ottenreath, Julian Hunter Havens, Danielle Carolyn, Delaney Childs, and then Ella McFadden. I watch so much. I watch so many YouTube. I'm so much YouTube. I try and do like different people at different times. And then someone that I've been loving recently, her name's Abby Caitlin. I think she has like kind of a bigger TikTok following, but her vlogs are super fun to watch because she lives at the beach and I would love to live at the beach. After moving to New York, I honestly don't know if I could ever leave New York, but I'd love to at least do like part-time at the beach or something. I think I even talked about that this morning, but yeah. So long way of saying, <clears throat> I don't know if I'm going to get a workout in or not. I'm still debating if I take her out to, I need to change anyways because I have on like my literal pajamas. So 
<laughs> we'll see after I watch this video how we're feeling and we'll decide from there. Update, we're gonna watch one more video. <laughs> this one's 13 minutes, so we're gonna chill, but I feel like I really need to lay down and chill for at least a little bit longer. So that's what we're gonna do. But this one I'm watching is another new suggestion, someone that I have never watched before. I really enjoyed Jenna's video, and now this one is Chelsea Callahan, and I'll have her page linked below as well. So I'm gonna give her channel a whirl. I've been waiting for this day for months because I cannot stand the sun setting early. So I'm very happy about that. I am gonna change because I think that the place that everybody stands in, especially Chloe with Mars.